Hi guys, in this episode um, we're going to be taking a look around the, 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 the allotments and um, having a look at what's been going on. Uh, there's a few alterations that I've been doing, a few fixes that needed to be fixed. Uh, I'll point them out as we go along um, on the walk around. Um, I'll show you what I've been doing in the, the middle greenhouse, the, the, which one what I'm in now. Um, the, the front greenhouse I have to leave alone at the moment, um, you'll understand why um, when I show you. <laughs> um, but this, I'm in a really, really short space now. It's, I've got a full plot on these slotments and I've got absolutely nowhere to grow anything at the moment because I've got so much stuff in. Um, I'm going to show you some garlic. Now I think it's redder. So I like your opinion, what you think. Um, but I reckon it's ready to come out. Um, and then I can start getting some of my brassicas in because I've got a whole lot of brassicas there waiting to go in. Um, they're just getting pot bound as, as we speak really. I've got no space at all available, I've got beds are completely full, um, I'm jiggling stuff around, I've managed to get everything out of the, this, this greenhouse, um, I've managed to get my daily, some, half, well three quarters of my daily is in, I'll show you them, um, show you a few other things that I've acquired, so yeah let's get on with this, um, this update, so uh, further ado. Let's get out there and show you what's been happening. Hi guys, what you're looking at there is uh, the gutter and my shed. Now you might think, well that's not like that, but uh, here it, it, it dips. And the reason why it dips is because it's in two parts. Now I've got this piece here which uh, joins them, but um, it looks horrible. and it, you, you can see it's slightly lower. When you walk past it, you can see it dropping down, so today I've got a new piece, well when I say newish, it's well it is it's newish. And it's going in its place. So I'm taking this off. Well it took me about five minutes, so what I'm gonna do now is measure it up and then cut it. So anyhow, uh I'm gonna get on with that and I'll see you in a bit guys. And there you go guys. All done, got her on. Uh a word for people um, who's doing this when you're actually putting your gutter on you know, on these clips push the, the the gutter to the back clip and lock it underneath the back and then what you do is you push down here and f push here and it locks them into, into place don't try and do them the other way you'll never do it but there's, only, there's, there's one way and it's the right way to to clip these um, gutters into these brackets so you push it underneath the, the back edge of this uh, clip and then you push this up and push that down there so you're pushing the gutter down and this clip up and it locks it and just go all the way, it took me about two minutes to, to actually do this but if you don't know what you're doing it could take you a damn sight longer because you cannot it's basically physically impossible and you probably get someone's already done it um, but it's, it's so difficult to actually get them to, to clip in the other way. But that's the proper way to do it. So there you go. Gutter done. Now we can move on to the other projects that I've got, got in mind. I'm even going to give us a lick of paint in the next couple of weeks. It's getting a little bit uh, tatter. There we go. Gutter done. Task number two. Strim. In front of my plot, we're supposed to all take care of us uh, in what's inside the front of us plot. So I'm going to be streaming along here and um, tidying it all up. And I may even stick a gutter in under it on this this corner. Yeah, I don't know. No, I'm going to stream it first. So let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. So all this is going to get streamed. It's not much. It's just a two minute job. Right, let's get on with it. Oh guys, there's another job done. All strimmed. Up to the end of my mate's plot. There's my strimmer there. 
great piece of kit that. I'm going to get it in the shed and wrap it up and then get it back in the car and take it home because anyone sees it they'll have me, they'll, they'll be saying oh can we borrow it and uh, before you know it it's broke and I, I've got to admit every time someone says oh if we break it we pay for it they never have so it's going to get wrapped up now and put away until the next time it's needed. Sorry about the shaky camera guys, it's me and um, shaking all off this morning for no, I don't know why, but there you go. Um, so there we are, put, put another job to bed. Well guys, um, today uh, it's on a car boot sale and uh, what you're seeing there um, are geraniums and um, marigolds. Now you normally pay £2.50 a tray. I pay 50p a tray. <laughs> Crazy, isn't it? 50p a paid. It's what you want to do, go when they're, when they're closing. And you've got to get rid of them somehow. So what they do, reduce them right down to next to nothing. So I bought 50p a tray. But what you see there is nothing. It's tip of the iceberg. Um, I've got another 10 trays at home. Um, they're going in the gardens. Um, front and back garden. So I've, what I've got to do, I've got to put my dahlias in, um, around in around the uh, fruit bush, fruit, fruit trees. Get it right, and I'm going to put these around them as well, like I did last year, and it was really lovely on here, full of colour. But um, yeah, I've got, like I say, 50p a tray. So yeah, did did all right there. Um, as you can actually, there's more at home. I bought ten. I bought 10 quids worth, it's 20 trays. We've got a lot of these, uh, what's the curl, it's at home. She's got them in her hanging baskets and what have you, that's what I bought them for. Yeah, so, yep, we're gonna be putting them in shortly. However, we've got a situation here where we've got nowhere to put anything. Um, point in case in the greenhouse over here. Let's come round here. Well, as you can see, all my tomatoes what are supposed to be in this greenhouse now are in the greenhouse. That there's a pumpkin. A few more tomatoes on the deck down there. Come up here, all my chilies and my peppers, bell peppers and what have you, are all almost potted. There's a couple to pot up yet. But there's a lot of tomatoes in amongst them, what needs to come out. There's tomatoes along the top, there's more tomatoes there. Now these are going in the other greenhouse, but I can't put them in the other greenhouse. Wait until that Muppet goes past on his stupid moped. Um, now it's gone. So, yeah, I, I, I can't put these in the greenhouse at the moment because I've got the potatoes in the greenhouse. So I was thinking I could put them in the coal frame. Um, where I've well, I'll come and show you the coal frame, eh? Um, we took most of the um, the heads off the daffodils and tulips. A few tulips left there now. I do it every year and they come back every year, so I've got no problem with taking them off. I just pull that central stem out and that's it. They've, they've done it on the tulips. Right. Uh, back to this bed, or, or this coal frame. Now these are all my dahlias, every one fire but one. My begonias, they're just starting to push through. I can see the ground just cracking in the pots. Again, more tomatoes there. And these are all my brassicas that I need to put in as well, but at the moment I'm waiting on the, um, the garlic, uh, which is about three weeks away. So I need to sort them out as well. These these um, beans will be going into the with the other beans. Uh, I've grown a few more just to to put in place of the ones what died on me because of my stupidity putting them out in the frost. Uh, putting them out when there was an hard frost that night and never watered them. I don't know, but they're doing all right. So what the idea? Well, the plan is all these um, dahlias now are all going to go into these four back beds there. And then the marigolds will be going in around them to give it more colour. Um, 
the geraniums will be going around the pond. Oh, by the way, I've got a couple of new friends. See if they're on the top here. They're very quiet, you might be able to see them. Oh, they've gone deep. There's, there's one of them. You can see that. She's a belter. There's another one at the bottom. As soon as they see me, they... Oh, she's gone. Don't know. Straight to the bottom. I'm, I'm climatizing them in, in this bucket here. Um, I'm going to be cleaning my pond out shortly. Or doing some with my plant, uh, pond. And then these will be going in the pond. But I was actually thinking of doing um, one of these hydroponics things. Now I've got a... She's coming up there. <laughs> There's another goldfish down there. I call him a couple, well, male and a female, by the way. Very difficult to sex, but um, you can tell that they're a pair simply because she's laden with eggs and he's a thin, scrawny thing. But um, yeah, I'm going to put some, uh, I'm going to put a, a mat in there for them and hopefully they're going to breed. They're about eight inches long. And she must be eight inches fat. You can see him there with his dodgy eye. We'll put my hand anywhere near him, he just goes straight to the bottom. Don't you, eh? <laughs> Lovely. But yeah, they're my, my two new uh, acquisitions. Um, I'm going to put a bit of a net over it at the moment, but them, believe it or not, are going in that water, but there. Um, and I'm going to use the excrement and what have you off the goldfish to to water me um me tomatoes and what have you. They've got got a uh, thousand liters of water to swim round in there, so there's plenty of room for two fish. And who knows, we may even get some babies. You're probably wondering how the hell I'm going to get them out um, when I have to. Um, I've already thought about that. The top's big enough to get a, a, a net that I've got to, to actually bring them out. So if I don't leave them in there too long and they get too big, then I can trans transfer them out. Yes. Little quad bike going backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards there. Right behind the allotments. He's got no helmet on. And then when, when his father finds him with a broken neck, and uh, start accusing everybody but himself. Unbelievable. That's what we've got to deal with. Kids on quad bikes and uh, mopeds going up and down the back there. I suppose though, while they're on them bikes and they're going up and down on the back of the fields, they're not breaking into people's houses and um, mugging people, so I suppose it's best of both worlds. Um, what they're doing. But they should wear helmets, that's for sure. You just go round in a circle, backwards and forwards. And you can hear that in most of the bank holidays, like it's bank holiday Monday today. So yeah, that's, I suppose what you part and parcel what you've got to listen to. Anyhow, like I say, back to all this lot. So these dailies are going in first, in that in the, the four beds. Then the marigolds are going round them. And all the tomatoes are going into weir for the time being. And then as soon as these spuds are, um, come out of here, then all the tomatoes will be going straight into here, um, into basically virgin compost, which is down there. So, yeah, I'll have to watch this space with all this. But um, over the next couple of days, I'm going to start putting these uh, dahlias in. They look healthy enough, got slug pellets around them. What I like to do though is take cuttings of them just before. I actually plant them, I take a cutting and then I get a clone of the, the, the original plant. That way what happens is if that plant dies in the ground I've got a backup. But what I normally do with them is um plant them give them to me me my family and they plant them in their gardens. But the plan um in the next couple of days is to get all these outside so I can get these the rest of the tomatoes in here out of the way so I've got some space to actually do stuff so that's what I'm doing now guys so that's uh, the long intro 
So let's get on with it. Well guys, here we go. There's Manny in the jungle in his camouflage hat. <laughs> As you can see, these uh, these potatoes, I really love this greenhouse. I'm just open and praying that the same can be said about the, the root system. Now this is, these are the potatoes with the experiment with the microfusal fungi and they've absolutely gone ballistic. I've got fl I have flowers all over them, the flowers are starting to die back on some of them. These ones here uh, are dropping now so I'm going to be um, digging into these probably in the next update. Uh, but yeah, that's the, the front green now so there's nothing I can do really in there at the moment. Except for um, Eyed Manny. And I can't believe how, how bad it really is in here. But uh, there you go, that's the, the front greenhouse, guys. Now, what I've got here behind me, I've got a brolly um, sheltering me from the wind. Um, that's a good idea, that actually. I use it as like a windbreak so it doesn't blow on the, 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 the mic too much on the camera recorder. What you're looking at there is. Uh, the, the well, there's, there's a few dahlias left. I say all the dahlias are in now. Um, the geraniums, there's, a, some, there's a, a pot of geraniums there left out of all the geraniums that I put in, and um, the marigolds are all in now. These are all my tomatoes. Now, there's several different varieties of tomatoes there. I'm not going to go through them at the moment, but there is about eight different varieties. And I'm only going to be using about 20 of them. And the rest of them are going to be given away. But I'm not giving them to just, I'm not giving them away just yet. Uh, they're going into this greenhouse here. But I managed to clear all my tomatoes out of my middle greenhouse. As you can see, all my brassicas are doing fine there. Me. And them are yellow, yellow pear tomatoes, the small ones. So, you know, everything's doing well. Uh, over there, the herb bed's doing really well. Um, that mint is getting a bit, uh, getting a bit too too uh, tall. Um, I might have to trim that. And I'm thinking about making another one of these um, raised herb beds because I've got a load more herbs. So I'll show you them in a bit. Obviously. You've seen the clip about the tomatoes and um, these strawberries, so we'll, we'll just continue on from them. Poppies are looking lovely there. Um, I put all the marigolds in now and um, the dahlias. Um, like I said, in each of these beds is there uh, six dahlias. There's three out of the front, three out of the back, and there's a row of nine um, marigolds. And all around them's um, slug pellets. Well, around the um, dahlias there is, anyhow. Fruit trees are doing absolutely fantastic, and I don't know if you can see over there, you can see the frame around the uh, blueberry bush. And um, we've got blueberries all over that, and the last thing I want is the birds to, to nail them all. Oh, they're stuck in the tree here. You see the brolly, that's like I said, I'm using the brolly as like a, a windbreak to stop the wind hitting the microphone. I don't really need it, there's a suppressor on this um, camera which uh, does that but um, it annoys me when I, when I can hear the wind blowing and I suppose it annoys you, it just certainly annoys me. Um, they're the, the four lots of um, onions, different varieties, they're doing absolutely fantastic. As, as I was saying um, the other day to one of my mates, well my mate was saying, so they, how, how are your um, onions doing? I said well, there they go. So all ours are all starting to put um, uh, flower stalks out, or seed stalks. So, uh, so where do you get yours from? So well, I bought mine from a place called Bent's. So, uh, so we've been buying ours from the shop. So that's, I think that was the problem that they've got. Um, as you saw in the clip there about the, the garlic, do you think it's ready for coming up or not? Um, well, it's, it's starting to die back now, but uh, I wait with baited breath on this one. As you can see, we just moved the brolly to the side at the moment. A bit late, can't blow away. And we're going here. Now, this is the, the garlic, what we're looking at. 
Uh, I think it's ready guys. I don't know about you. I'll just clear some of it away. But uh, what do you, I mean, that's about, about 55, 60 millimetres across. It's about, about two and a half inches. So I think they're ready then. And like I say, they started to put a stalk out on the top, so I took the stalks off. So I do think they need to come out. So I'm wet, see what you, I'll see what you guys have to say about that. Moving on, I had a couple of collies out of here. They were absolutely lovely. These are the other, uh, the other potatoes. I've still got them under the fleece. Uh, they're doing absolutely fantastic underneath that. So I'm leaving them, just leaving the fleece on for the time being. Um, you probably see the corn through the the fleece there, and that's that's doing that fleece is doing real, doing really well. Um, I think it cost me about two quid a, a roll of. Um, I think it's about thirty meters of that stuff, and it's well, it's it's done its business anyhow. It's um, it's sheltered them, and they they they've actually doubled in size since last time. The other success is these. Um, these carrots, sweet candle, um, I forget what the other two are, but all three rows of uh, carrots are up now, and the biggest success is the uh, the parsnips, however, was a tragedy. Um, slug damage, one of the slugs has had one of my me, me, uh, parsnips, so I piled in the, the slug pellets there to, to keep the little darlings at bay um, again these will be coming home shortly so I've got a bit of space here again these these this garlic is about four four or five weeks um, younger than the others so this has got another four maybe five weeks left to go in the ground maybe a bit longer actually uh, I spot some weeds guys I've not done any weeding at all in this since I put these um, Zebrugger shallots and um, the beetroot in here. There's only a couple of little bits, there's not to worry about. Again, the, the broad beans are doing really well inside this um, protective um, fleece. And uh, all these uh, shallots. I think they're called sun gold shallots or something like that. I forget what they are now. They've all split and there's about six to eight shallots on each plant, so well chuffed with that. The lemon balm's come up absolutely fantastic there. Which brings me on to this greenhouse. Now, as you can see, um, the fig tree's gone. The fig tree, if you look in the right hand corner there, it's um, right next to the pond outside. And uh, well, I'm going to see what happens. See if it if it makes it. If it fair does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But uh, now I've got all my uh, chilies. That was me. Um, me broly falling on the floor. I've got all my chilies on the table here. They're doing well. There's flowers all over them. Got more chilies to separate here. Um, there's a. Uh, I did have a pumpkin. Oh, the pumpkin's going to be going in my um, compost bin shortly. So that's going out. Uh, down here is uh, a cucumber. And that over there is where that cu cucumber's going to be staying. Uh, that's where, uh, obviously, you can see the bottle on top of it there, just to protect my eye. And there's a bottle missing off that, them ones there. So I always put bottles on these to stop me, to stop me taking my eyes out. And as you can see, this is where the my tomatoes are. And in beneath, in, be, in between the tomatoes, I don't know if you can see the cos lettuce down. Never move that out of the way. I'm getting a little bit of an art on them. So yeah, everything's uh, been cleared up in here. Although saying that, underneath the table there, it's actually plant pots everywhere and trays. I'm just absolute inundated with them. I need to take them out really and put them into me. I've got a cupboard outside. Um, I will do that shortly. I was given these as well. Uh, I, for the life of me, don't know what they are. They're, they're like a, look like a dahlia, but they're not a dahlia. 
Anyhow, I'll just keep my eye on them, see what happens. I'll put them in the ground so then I can find the space. But as you can see, the, the, the chilies. I've actually went and bought some of these. Um, there's, uh, yesterday it was a uh, yeah, sweet pepper F1 uh, Trafalgar, uh, uh, oh, Tangerine Dream. You have to excuse me, I'm blind as a bat. And what are these ones? Chili Peppers F1 Basket of Fire. They look really good. Uh, but all the rest of them, the carry on peppers, yellow peppers, um, Hungarian wax, uh, jalapenos, um, uh, which one's this? Demon Red, uh, what's that one? Scotch Bonnet. These are all I've grown myself, and there's a load of chilies at the back there, what's coming up as well. Um, oh, sorry, no, they're um, uh, sweet. Sweet uh, tomatoes, F ones. Oh no, no, they're chilies. Sorry, they're chilies. Yeah, I'm getting mixed up because I've got some um, some yellow pear tomatoes which are in the cold frame at the front of the plot. Um, moving along here, I bought another one, Trinidad uh, perfume. That's another um, little cracker. That's a lot of jalapenos and uh, sweet peppers. Um, again, I've got all this lot at home as well. Now we're talking about making another herb bed. So what I did is I bought a load of these herbs here. Oregano, uh, marjoram, um, calomel, pennyroyal, uh, bergamot. Uh, what's this one over there? Uh, thyme. And these things, I've actually grown them from clippings. They're not doing too good, but uh, they're hanging in there. There's rosemary. Uh, temperature in here at the moment is uh, 79.3 degrees now. I just said that, but yesterday it was uh, 105 degrees in here, that's how hot it is. And the reason why everything's doing so well, I mean just look at this here. Uh, this is only two years old, this grapevine. Um, and I've cut, believe it or not guys, I've cut um, eight foot off it. I've cut eight foot, I don't know what the hell's going on with this grapevine, but it's just absolutely going potter um, I thought it was a fluke um, that it grew it nearly tw it grew nearly 20 odd well if you look back at the videos I kid you not you look back at the videos there um, last year I put them in I put this in it was about three foot tall and I put it in about March well it went from three foot to about 24 26 foot I had to cut eight foot of it it cut it went all right to this end and it come back on itself so i had to basically cut it off to stop it growing but it's starting again it's coming back along here now so i'm gonna have to i don't know whether i can actually cut them now so i have just leaving well alone at the moment so any of you guys who's got the grapevines out there uh, can tell me can i cut can i actually take these um the, these these runners here what are coming off the the main stem could I cut it short I, I stopped it um, and cut it cut it off up here I think let's go along I've got to watch my flask I cut it here last year and it started to shoot off here again so I was thinking can I actually cut that off or is it is it wise just to leave it this year I mean the the actual stem itself started to thicken up as well it's but as you can see there's grapes everywhere and the reason why I've left the grapes so many grapes on it because last year there was absolutely fantastic I actually had an handful of grapes in the very first year of uh, putting it in the greenhouse. So, and it was really, really sweet. So, I mean, Jim's I was Jim's uh, Jim's allotment. He, he snapped his. He's got his trained up um, through a, a pipe or something here, and he's, he's training it this way. Well, I've trained mine to come up the side and along here. But what I'm also going to do, I've got a runner here as well. This one. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to run it along the edge here because this greenhouse gets really, really hot and I need a bit of shade on me, um, me, me, me tomatoes and what have you. So, you know, there we go, guys. So that's uh, basically um, the walk round. Just step outside. I just chucked me brolly there. Yeah, that's what I've been using to to actually um, dampen the sound and we'll stick it back up again. So let's walk down here, I've, I've the last look at the uh, the rhubarb because the rhubarb is starting to fall flop over now. I've, I've, 
been taking bags of this stuff. Um, it goes crazy. What I'm going to have to do here again, um, I'm going to build um, some sort of a frame to, to retain it behind to stop it falling over. Um, I've got an idea what I'm going to do. I've seen um, something Jim did there on, um, Jim, on Jim's allotments. He did uh, with his um, with his rhubarb. He's built like a little um, picket fence to to keep it contained. So that's what I might do there. Put a, put some sort of little picket fence at the front of it just to stop it keep it from falling over. But I was saying that I do pull the, the stuff what's on the floor there. I'm just going to pull that up in a bit and I'll be taking it home. It all boils down to the same stuff and uh, apple uh, rhubarb crumble. Um, it's the same same taste, same everything. So you know. So there, that that's the the rhubarb. As for the brambles, the brambles are doing really well. I'm working them right along the, the fence now. We'll soon have this fence covered and stop the stop people looking across, uh, looking onto the allotments. It did have all the way along this fence. It had uh, bushes. All the way, you see how it looks like mad chaos up there. Um, but all that's going to be tied into the fence shortly, so we'll be able to walk right the way along it. It's just left like that at the moment to get the, the length of um, the the thorns and what have you, the, the bushes. But it'll all get tied back in shortly, so uh, I have to watch this space for that. Well, there you go, guys, that's the walk round. Um, like I say, let's uh, sum it all up back in the green now, so be right back guys. Well guys, there was a tour, a um, few clips thrown in amongst all that lot as well. Like I say, the, the shed was driving me mad with that bloody gutter. Um, cowboy jobs. Well actually, I should have sorted it out um, last year when I built the shed. It was just a temporary fix to put a gutter in and what I did, I did it in two pieces and I knew I was going to have problems with it when I did it. That's how sad it is. Um, the thing was though, when I bought the um, when I bought the, drip, the the gutter, I couldn't fit it in the car, so I had to cut it in two pieces. So I obviously I pieced it together properly, but um, over a period of time it dropped and it actually it was letting water drop down onto the the, the shed. So anyhow, I took care of that, and that's all been sorted out. We did a bit of a I'll show you a bit of a clip where. Where the the front of the plot was looking a mess, the the grass anyhow that was strimmed and that's all been taken care of. Um, what else do we do? Well, obviously seeing the, the the front greenhouse, it's a bloody nightmare. Can't do nothing in there at the moment. Um, but in the hundredth episode, we might do a reveal, which is not too far away, guys. I'm on number ninety nine. Uh, my videos. Um, just one behind Jim. Oh, no, I'm not. I think Jim's jumped ahead now. He's, he's got about, done about three videos since his 100th one. I'm playing catch up with Jim, by the way. <laughs> um, his, his episode, his 100th episode, was absolutely fantastic. Great voice, by the way, Jim. You should do a few more videos like that. Um, get get your, um, your music um, on the net. Good voice, really good voice. I enjoy, enjoy listening to it as well. I'm just curious, by the way, Jim, if you're watching. That music that you you play at the beginning is that your own music or is that um, someone else's music that you actually use? I'd, I'd love to know. Cause I absolutely love the is it the, the Traveller? I think it's I'm not too sure. But uh, again, fantastic music and great voice and uh, well done at your hundred hundred episode. It was a very good one. So there we go, guys. You want if you want to check Jim out, like I say, he's got a great voice as well. Um, I think um, Jim and um, Dave, that's Dave's allotments, have got um, got it sewn up on the singing on the singing lot. Pair of them have got very good voices. But there we go. Well, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> like I say I'm a one episode away from my hundredth episode, so uh, uh, watch this space. We've got a few things planned for that. Um, whether they come off, I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping they're going to. But yeah, anyhow, back to the plot. Um, as it thickens, uh, I managed to get some of the dahlias out. And um, as you saw in the, the video there, the the marigolds and the... Um, what were they? The, oh, I always get confused what they are. The geraniums. Um, uh, what a bargain, eh? 50p a tray. 
on the next store where I bought them, they were selling them for three quid a tray. How's that? I went up to the guy and I went, uh, how much have we said 50p? I went, what a plant? He went, no tray. I went, looked at him, I thought, what's going on here? So I thought, well, thinking on my feet here, I said, okay, I'll have 20. I'll have um, 14 of them and six of the um, geraniums. He went, yeah, did you give me an hand back to the car? So I was going back to the car now behind me, right? You got this, this is on a car boot. It's about 15, 16 people behind me when he asked this guy how much they were. So I said, yeah, of course, mate, I'll give you a lift back to the car. So he had a load of bags and he put them in the boot of the car. So I'll tell you what, mate, I said, I'll have another 20. He went, 20 he said you sure so yeah 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 so he gets back to his um to his uh his um truck where he's got all his uh plants he sold out the lot everybody that was behind me as soon as he heard there was 50p everybody bloody bought him he had one left <laughs> so <laughs> he, he had hundreds of them they just everybody just took 10 15 20 so i missed out but well, like i said i'm a bit greedy but i got 20 and like i said i put I think there's about eight or nine what I'm putting in. The rest of them are they're in the, the front and the back garden in hanging baskets at home now. That's what the missus has got. So, brownie points there. But yeah, bargain and half them. So I've I've actually put some of the marigolds in the front of the front of the plot with the the dahlias. I've got about four or five more dahlias to go in now. So we get the dahlias in, which has created a space in the um, the coal frame to put all my tomatoes. What's in here? The only trouble with that, I just hoping that the tomatoes don't grow too fast because I need to sort the tomatoes out, get them in the pots, and then get them into the front greenhouse. But as you, as you've seen there in the video, the greenhouse is uh, overtaken with potatoes. So we're going to do a reveal um, probably next next week. It, it's not even time yet to lift them, but I just want to see because they've got flowers on them. Some of the flowers have died off them. And because they've been in there for, I think it's about 70 days, even though they've been in there for 70 days, I mean, they've had the best of everything, so they, they might have, um, the, the spuds might be okay. So I don't know which ones I'm going to look at first, but we'll, we'll do a reveal on the 100th episode. Um, so uh, watch out for that one, guys. So anyhow, so I've got all the, the, the brassicas uh, with the tomatoes in the, the coal frame outside now. So I, I need to create some space at the back of the plot for that. Uh, which we're coming forward now. We're talking about the, the strawberries. I mean, I've got a couple of varieties of strawberries, as you saw there. I actually named a few of them, a few of the plants today. I thought I'd let you know what they are. But uh, moving on from the, the front of the plot, we're coming to the back of the plot now. As you can as you see in the video, um, the onions are doing fantastic. Funny enough, everybody's onions on the, the allotments have all started to um, to, to actual flower and started putting um, shoots out. Mine are fantastic. Mine are okay. But I bought mine from a different place. Now these, everybody on here bought them from the the shop, the allotment shop. So I'm thinking it might be something to do with the... Um, the the well, I don't think what they are now. Um, the actual onion myself, I think it might be something uh, wrong there with them. Um, the seed onions, but hey ho, I'm lucky. Mine are okay, so they're doing fantastic. Um, moving across to the corn, that's doing well. That's doing really, really well. Um, obviously, the cabbage is doing okay, um, which brings me on to the garlic now. I mentioned in the, the video, what do you think about the garlic, guys? Do you think it's uh, redder? Do you think it should lift it? Now, I think it should be lifted, and I'm going to. I'll wait for your comments, see what you think, and um, probably next episode I'll start digging some up and see what we've got. But it looks, I mean, it's decent stuff, and it's uh, that Casablanca, what I was showing you in the. The actual video and I mean Casablanca that normally gets about yay big and it's done and it's that big now so and it, all the foliage is starting to go yellow so it's starting to die back put, but saying that it's going yellow but some of it's actually starting to put um, the flower stalks out so I've, I've been taking them off obviously and um, so the, the garlic we wait with baited breath uh, moving on to the the collies now the collies have had a couple of collies the rest of them i reckon are about two weeks away 
and then I can pull all them out and I've got more space for more brassicas um, again the problem is no space I've got lack of space um, so I need to get some of this garlic out to get the brassicas in because the brassicas are they're really struggling there in the, the in the the cold frame at the front of the the plot the it's getting a bit pot bound and they need to go out so um, yeah we'll wait with baby breath see what you guys uh, have to say on that something you can get involved in um, as for the carrots I'm doing I'm really chuffed three rolls have come up now um, and the biggest achievement is like I say is the parsnips so Jim your parsnips safe mate I've got my own parsnips this year chitted them um, like Dr. Fibes there, that bloody um, micro surgeon with uh, tweezers <laughs> taking them out and putting them into the toilet rolls and what have you. I will say, a slug had one of them. I'm absolutely gutted. Um, so, as you can imagine, there's loads and loads of slug pellets. There's a barrier of slug pellets all the way around them. <laughs> like I said, I only have to get one about about six inches long, seven inches long, and um, I'm chuff I'll be chuffed as a a monkey with a bag of nuts. I tell you. <laughs> well, there we go. Uh, like I said, I've missed anything because it's, it's been a busy week this week getting things organised. Um, but like I said, this greenhouse, what we're in now, it's uh, basically as it's going to be got all my chilies, all my peppers on one side, got all my tomatoes on the other. So that, like I said, there's three varieties of um, tomatoes in here. Um, I think I mentioned them. Um, Elsie Craig, um, Shirley's, and um, Sun Gold. And um, I've got a job there, keep having to pick the, the side shoots out so they grow tall and you don't end up with a bush. I want. Um, something six foot tall uh, rather than six foot wide so that's what I've got to keep my eye on here and hopefully we're going to be um, getting some tomatoes in the other greenhouse very shortly so uh, that brings uh, this one to a close guys um, thanks for watching um, I say um, it's the hundredth episode next time so thanks to all my subscribers again um, without you it wouldn't be, it'd be pointless doing it really so see you all on the flip flops guys that's been on you